Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to look at the, uh, another updated feature of Gadget, uh, the ability to export your projects now into Ableton. So it offers you two, two, two options really, as we shall see. Um, you can export into Ableton Live 9, the full program, or Ableton uh, Live Lite. Now if you don't have Live Lite, you can't just get it from Ableton, you have to get it with something, but you can get it with Gadget. So if you haven't got it, you can get it with Gadget. And and it's a, it's a fabulous program. Most people know this already. Anyway, so what I've done is to save time here for the first part of this video is I've created this little this little project thing here and it is it is only small. So it's just uh, these three uh, there's the three scenes and uh, each scene has a, a number of clips. Now I'm, I'm thinking when we export this into Ableton, I've only got the light version by the way, uh, when we export this into Ableton uh, it will export as scenes and clips. So there's the first one and what I did is recorded the, basically the drum track on separate clips. So there it is. So what I've done is I've saved this. I, I constructed it, then saved it as a, a live import. So as a test. So first of all, what we want to do now is to export this. We want to open our file thing here, and we've got an export uh, thing here, and it uh, gives us various exports. So we can export to Gadget Cloud, iTunes, Dropbox Audio, Copy, or Ableton Live Project. Now we're going to export Ableton Live Project, obviously. So you want to click on there, and uh, this is where you can get Ableton for free. There, okay, get, get free Ableton Live Lite, and it's well worth it anyway. You get stacks of synths and stuff, and there's so many free samples that you can download. And of course, now you can make your own samples in uh, with your iPad, or, or even make a whole complete project there with with the uh, gadget. I've kept it short, the small, so it doesn't take loads of time to upload. So anyway, so. We want to export, uh, right, so export Ableton Live project here now. And we're going to uh, export it to Dropbox. Okay, now it says sync your iPad 2 computer with Ableton Live. Okay, so we'll be back in a sec to see if that's worked. Hello everybody, welcome back to the sound test room. So we've got our project transported into Dropbox now, so we just need to find Dropbox here and see if it's there. I think it is. Uh, so can we have called Gadget. We open up and we have our Ableton Live import project, the one we took in. And then what we need to do is find our Ableton project folder here, which will be there. So let me move that out of the way a sec. Which will be there when it's um, when you load Live Lite. So just open that door, okay. And uh, I find it best to take the three the, th the three um, things and just drop them in there. The samples will have gone into the samples. There they are. Now, I'm not the biggest Ableton user, so, you know, bear with me. Um, okay, so we're just, we can close that now and close that and launch live light. There we are. And what we're going to do is um, I'm just going to open live set. And it should be there, Ableton li Ab Live Import, which is our thing. Um, open. Just wait for a sec. Now, okay, so that's worked, it seems. I'm just gonna change some of the view things here. I don't wanna see the ins and outs. Now, you know that you can only add up to eight scenes in light. Okay, so just be aware that when you're dropping, you're dropping in, it, uh, that's, 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 your, that's your maximum, unless you have like the full version. So, okay, so theoretically now, if I hit scene one, it should play, oh, no, so there you go. Now we can rename these course here and turn each clip on and off oh sorry
So there you go. And now you're free to start um, adding more bits and pieces in if you want. You can add any of their their bits and pieces. So we have a look at some clips here. Let's add a new one there. And let's add some congas in the same place. So if now we... So what you can do now is you can start to build up your own track. Inside Ableton. Now then, of course, you could start to add, um, if we insert a, a, a MIDI track here, we can start to uh, put some instruments in if we want. Now, you get you get a few uh, free instruments here that you can choose from to, 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 to use. If we choose some, I don't know, some, some strings. You get a little sample there. So if we just, um, I don't oh, know, here, sorry. Um, I'm using my piano keyboard here, so now we could start to add some 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 uh, more stuff to Ableton. Anyway, guys, I only have up to five minutes. We took I only have up to five minutes screen capture recording with this app, which is Tiny Take. I don't know why. Um, someone can tell me. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you later.